What is Mr. Alexander doing? Is he okay? Uh, I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Where have you been? Hi, Mr. Alexander. How's your day been? Lennon? You're, you're too close to the mic. Back, back up. Back up to the... Just... Okay. That's too far. Come back. Come back. Okay, try it now. You're on mute. You're on mute. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Okay. That's good. Okay. All right. Just, just try moving your microphone away from the body. Okay, your body. Okay. Just, just take. Okay. Just, I'll try that. Okay. Miss Sullivan, Mr. Gilliam, when did you guys get here? I didn't see you come in. Uh, uh. Well, we just got here. We didn't see you dancing or anything. Oh. <laughs> Okay, all right, well, let's- Hey guys, sorry I'm late. <laughs> What's going on? Hi, How's everybody, everybody doing? Hey, hey. Hey, hey Ms. Doody. Well, I was just gonna, you know, talk about, you know, where we are right now. Uh, we we're gonna start a meeting. How's it going, everybody? Hey oh, there, Dr. Scott. Hey, Mr. Gilliam. Oh, hi, Mr. Slaughter, what have you been up to? It has been a day. I'm so ready for Christmas, though. Woo! Look at the sweater. Hey, Miss Tyler, like your background. Miss Tony, look at your flashy stuff. Oh my gosh, look at the office. Like can, can we start the meeting, please, guys? That is awesome. Can we start the meeting? Hey, Miss oh, Lennon, what, what are you doing? Flashy. It looks really good. Oh, hi. We just got that sweater from Florida. Did, did your wife get oh, that sweater God, for you? Oh, look at she those She knitted it. Behind she knitted it. That's a talent right there. I love it. I don't understand that. I mean, that's the back on track. That's a business opportunity right there. You know what? Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Diwali. You know, whatever. Uh, uh, yeah. All the things. Enjoy. Just enjoy yourselves. You know, have a have a great have a great break. Thank you. We will do that. Thank you. You also. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, Bye. Bye. everybody. Bye. Hey, young. Hey, how's it going? Oh my gosh, it was such a nightmare grading all those essays. I mean, didn't we give them a class period and talk to them about how to write them? Yet, what I get is a comparison essay between the Jurassic, Jurassic Park and how it relates to the reform movements of the 19th century. Like, seriously, who taught this kid this? I don't know what is going on in your class, but I had the most extravagant essay. I mean, the essays were so unique. Who doesn't like a good essay about the Jurassic Park? Wait, they didn't all right about that, did they? I think we can all agree that teaching this year has been a walk in the park. Jurassic Park. <laughs> You're right. Wait a second, Narvaez. What are you doing at this meeting? This is social studies, your English department. Uh, well, see, uh, all the Zoom links got mixed up uh, in the email, so it's pretty much a guessing game. So we locate our department, so I thought I'd check here. Good thing we have all day to find them. Should probably get going to find the English <laughs> department. Oh, okay, see ya. Bye. Why don't I get a feeling this is about to unleash chaos? It's gonna be bad. Oh, hey, Mr. Dixon, what, what are you doing here, buddy? Hey there, Besner, how you doing? Hey, I couldn't find my fine arts people, so I thought I'd uh, jump on to the next best thing for me, and that is the, the PE athletic group. Okay, so remind me again, how does PE and, and band, how are, how are they related? Marching band, marching band, we do the marching band. In fact, I need some more exercises to get us a little more fit, so I was going to jump on here into PLC and, you know, see, see how much uh, more I could do for them to get them a little more active and in shape like they're 
they can do, you know, 300 wind sprints and 275 push-ups and all that good stuff, you know, just like all the other athletes, but, uh, you know, just getting some information here. Wow. So really, I'm, I'm kind of confused here, but marching band is really not a sport, right? It's not, not really a sport. Have, have you driven by, like, it is definitely a sport. They're scoring. There's no defense at all, but uh, we get scores, you know, we compete. There's rankings, arbitrary rankings sometimes. They got winners, they got losers. We're winners. Yeah, see, no one's ever called marching band a sport. I mean, just because you play at the football games, right? I mean, it doesn't mean that you're on the exact same playing field or physical force as the players. No, no, no. We're, we're the 12th man. We, we're the one. We that, that other team comes towards us. We blare them out. We make them off sides. You know, our the football team's record wouldn't be as good without us. In fact, this year is the first game they've won without us. Where is the math department? They're always late, but never this late. Hey, true. Let's try this Zoom. Um, I don't think this is science. Oh, nitrogen, oxygen. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, sorry. Since we're from the science department, we like to periodically make puns. Okay. Um, oh, anyway, what are you guys doing for Christmas this year? Well, my family is putting up a chemistry. Don't forget about the partridge in a petri. <laughs> I'm making some cookies and pie and... I'll have to periodically check on those this weekend. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you just steal my pun? What? What pun did I steal? Uh, I made a periodic table pun earlier, and you just stole it. So lame. First of all, what is this teriyaki table you're talking about? And secondly, I wasn't making a pun at all. I'm a math teacher. We don't make puns. Now, now, let's all be mala cool about this. Um, I won't stand for this. The first rule is never stealing someone's pun. I didn't steal your pun. I don't pun. I'm a math teacher. No puns. <laughs> I did not steal your pun. What did I walk into? No puns. Such a bore. Math what? Slow? Your lane, sister. What? What? Hello? An arts meeting. These meetings have been so hectic. I think this is my fourth meeting today. And still, no one from my department. Sarah, I'm here. I'm looking for the math department. Still, no luck. <laughs> well, this is not the math department, but it's my stop. Who knows? Maybe the one of the other teachers will be here. Maybe. Okay, I'll get going. One of those has to be the math department, right? I hope so. Good luck on your endeavors. Thanks. Oh wait, I think I hear Harrington arguing again. Gotta go. All right, I pulled up on my the Google here, and the Google. The definition of the term sport means, and I quote, an activity involving exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against another for entertainment. Entertainment, marching band, entertainment, physical, intensity. That's it right there. God, I've never heard any coach in my life say marching band is a sport. The only time marching band's been actively involved in a sporting event is when they stepped onto the field accidentally and the football team nearly ran over them trying to run back an interception. That was one time, one time. It, it was a two bit. It's okay. And, and hey, we give marching band kids PE credit. That's a sport. You, you get half a PE credit. Because it's what? half They're Marching around year. a parking lot? It's half the year. They get fulfilled walking around for 10 minutes at halftime, and you get you get a PE credit, a half a credit for a PE. Dang it, another wrong department. At least it wasn't the math department. That was crazy. Hello? Hello? Are you even listening to me? She's too lost in her book, I guess. I wonder 
why everyone except the CTE classes have been having these issues. Hello? Anybody there? Hey. Oh. Um, where, where am I? When, when did you get here? I uh, just now. Well, this is the English department. Oh, um, sorry, wrong meeting. Gotta go. Bye. Bye. All right, hey everybody. So we're having this meeting to get together to talk about this semester and I wanted to see if anyone has any best practices that they would like to share. Guys, I have found the perfect solution to teach software to in-person and remote students simultaneously. All you have to do is follow this perfect five-step process. First, you want to make sure you get the right audio. You can get in the, and then when you work out. Jeremy, we can't hear what you're saying. Are you using the My Wi-Fi network? Yeah. Why? As I was saying, I've been following this perfect five-step process. And so all you got to do, make sure you have great audio, camera, and you exercise uh, and put it to the okay um <clears throat> anyone else yeah i don't i don't know about best practices y'all but i gave an entire lecture on cpr the other day only to realize no one told me i was on mute i know why do my kids never tell me when they can't hear <laughs> yeah i wanted to mess around with my online students so i started singing this really awesome song by justin bieber and in the middle of the room i stood up and it took them four minutes until any of them even heard me. <laughs> Wait, am I on mute again? Uh, oh, look at the time. It's 420. Come on, guys. My singing wasn't that bad. <laughs>